Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. And that storm is one thing around here, but down there where they're not used to it. I mean, that just, I mean, you saw it. It brings life to a halt. Yeah, it was a big storm. I just checked the map over a foot and a half in western Virginia and North Carolina. Mm -hmm. So it just goes to show you how the storm was pushed out because no one in New England or even Pennsylvania got even a, a flake from that storm. So we missed it. Man, all went to our south. It did, yeah. We'll take a look at what we have right now. This is the time lapse from Whiteface. It was shrouded in clouds earlier, but look how cool it gets later on. That's undercast where the camera is above the clouds. So at the ground, you see the clouds above us, but high up, the clouds are below. And a lot of sun up there. Most of us have a lot of sun, um, but there's been a couple of snowflakes, especially across northern New York, especially Clinton County on down through the Champlain Islands. The ferry crossing probably getting a couple flakes right now, but nothing significant. Saw a couple coatings last night. This is that storm is just diminishing and moving out over into the Atlantic. So it's not even going to make it to New York City in terms of clouds, snow or rain. So it's just staying way to the south. That's the view in Montpelier, the state house, the beautiful gold dome, the sun glare there. Cold though, temperatures 20, but it feels like the single digits because there's a little wind out of the north and west. Elsewhere, we have 21 in Plattsburgh, 18 at Saranac Lake. Do have some low 30s once you get south of Lebanon down through Brattleboro and Bennington. So that is a little a little milder down there, but it's getting colder again. I think Wednesday is the coldest day of the week and overall the pattern remains quiet. We've been talking about the potential for either rain or snow or mix on Saturday, but even that storm may be a miss. We'll take a look. This is future cast as we go through today. A lot of sun for the rest of our Monday and then tomorrow. I think the clouds will start to increase, so there should be overall more clouds tomorrow. Maybe some snow showers. But really, we're not talking about anything significant as we go through tomorrow. And by Wednesday, any morning clouds will give way to sun later in the day. And again, Wednesday is the coldest day of the week. Thursday is looking good, too. So the plan for tomorrow shows some sun, but then more clouds, perhaps a snow shower later tomorrow. Highs will be in the upper 20s, close to 30 in the Champlain Valley, 25 in Montpelier. And in southern Vermont, 27 at Stratton, 32 at Bennington. So this is the latest European projection for the end of the week. Look what happens here. The storm certainly there, but it doesn't really make it into New England at all. Not in, not into our neck of the woods. So it's possible that at the end of the week it just misses and it stays dry. I wanted to show you this quickly before the five day plus five. This is the long range outlook for the week before Christmas. So this is next week a week from now. The temperature outlook is finally above average. We've been stuck in this colder pattern. The average next week in the low 30s. So I would say a lot of the days may end up being slightly higher than that. So we get a break from the cold that we've been in. Here's the five day. A couple snow showers later tomorrow. Any clouds give way to sun on Wednesday. Thursday and Friday are dry. But see, there's the warm up 27 on Thursday, 40 on Friday and then low 40s on Saturday. We'll call it a chance for a mix, but as you saw, it may just miss on Saturday. Then we're still in the upper 30s on Sunday. That could really be a nice ski day if the wind stays away. And then next week there you see the below 30s. So we'll say goodbye to the 20s, at least temporarily. Dave.